What's going on, y'all? Broadcasting live from Fort Worth, Texas. This is Creighton Wallace, and as you all know, I just be thinking, dog. I just be thinking, dog. I just be thinking, dog. First thing I wanted to talk about this week, I got an email from change.org who wanted me to sign a petition about Daewoo. Now, anybody, for all of y'all who don't know who Daewoo is, Daewoo is a company. Uh, they make cars and they also make electronics. Now when I first moved to the DFW area in the early 2000s, the Daewoo cars was really popular around here. What Daewoo is doing, they're allegedly the biggest producer of cotton in Uzbe Uzbekistan. Uzbekistan, that's right. The state in the country, Uzbekistan, Uzbekistan. If you don't know where or uh, what Uzbekistan is, is located in Central Asia. And when I did a little research on it, I thought it was kind of um, interesting that Uzbekistan actually was part of the so Soviet Union up until 1991. So what's going on in Uzbekistan with Daewoo, Uzbekistan is using slave labor to produce this cotton that uh, Daewoo is buying from them. And there's already been casualties. A 63-year-old former was beat to death by some officials there that was uh, forcing them to work. Also, a six-year-old child who was napping in the trailer as his mother was working was uh, killed by some cotton being loaded on top, top of him. He was suffocated to death. So please, all my people, do not, do not support Daewoo. Don't buy their cars. Don't buy their electronics. This is inhumane and you will not you cannot support these people. Absolutely not. Moving on to some hip hop news. My man Ray Benzino was, uh, was shot last week at his mother's funeral. Now, as the reports say, he's doing okay. He's in stable condition and he's gonna make a full recovery. Now, for you who don't know who Ray Benzino is, I'm sure the younger generation probably knows him from love and hip hop. And the uh, people my age know him as being the founder of the Source magazine, which before Double XL came along was the biggest magazine in hip hop. And it's still a very, very popular hip hop publication. Benzino was allegedly shot by his nephew, a guy by the name of Josh Scott. And I believe this happened actually at the, it was either at the funeral site, at the burial site, or the reception after the funeral. I'm not too sure. I looked on Karen Civil. Shots out to Karen Civil. I looked on Karen Civil's Twitter and uh, got all the details that I got. But one thing I know for sure is Benzino is okay and will make a full recovery. I want to say to his nephew, dude, what were you thinking about? You, you shot your uncle because you were having some kind of family dispute right after a funeral? You just lost your grandmother and you're going to kill your uncle too? That makes no sense at all. I want to say to all my young black men, all my young people, period, think before you act because you can mess up your life in a matter of seconds. Ask yourself before you decide to do something crazy. I know what it's like to be angry. I know what it's like to want to hurt somebody. But at the end of the day, is it really worth the consequences? That's all I got for y'all today. My man Christopher Corleone is going to light the screen up with my Facebook, with my website, and with my Gmail address. So anybody that wants to hit me up can hit me up. And make sure y'all hit me up on my YouTube channel at CWallace318 and let me know what y'all be thinking, dog. Peace. This fucking country still is. Barack had death threats before he even ran. Cause all they saw was a nigga that ain't.